Welcome to Applications of Deep Neural Networks with Washington University. In this video, we're going to take a look at prompt engineering for large language models. This is just a quick introduction into it. We're going to have an entire module about prompt engineering later in the semester. So I've got it loaded into Google Colab here. I am going to run this. Make sure that you have your OpenAI API key there if you're running it in Colab. So this gets everything loaded that we need. And we'll get into, into understanding the, the prompts. Most prompts, you're going to have four key pieces of it. You're going to give instructions. So you're going to describe a task to the model. You're going to give it some external information that might not be in its foundation model. You're going to give it input data. And by the way, context information is where RAG often comes in, retrieval augmented generation, where you're basically providing your large language model with a database that it can query to get additional proprietary information that is not available elsewhere. You'll have the input data. That's what you're wanting a response on. And then the output indicator, usually the prompt's last part that specifies, you can specify kind of how you expect the output to be. Now you can leave any of these parts off. And if you leave any of these parts off, the model is going to attempt to fill in the blanks like they always do. And this usually results in hallucinization. So you want to try to come up with good prompts. And by the way, hallucinization is when the model just kind of makes things up without really any, any rhyme or reason necessarily. Usually it's from bad prompting. So here we will see that, now it doesn't wrap this particularly well, but it says summarize the following product review in a single sentence. Product, smart digital bathroom scale for body weight, FMI. I actually own this, this product, by the way, so I, I kind of copied that. And then a review, the scale is fantastic. And then you just tell it that you want a summary. So that's really telling it what you want. You, you want a summary. And here you can see, I, I really sort of tag that. You can see the instructions, summarize the following output. Um, the context, that's the product that we're trying to, to deal with. And then the input data uh, is the review that we're, that we're dealing with. And then the output is simply a summary. So that's the usual format that we'll start with any, anyway for prompts in this, in this course. Uh, there's some other things that you should be aware of as you're, you're doing this. You'll hear these a lot when you're, you're working with people talking about generative AI and how you train it. So there's the zero shot training or the zero shot prompt pattern. This means you have not done anything to train it. You've given it no training data. It just knows it from its foundation model, from what it was trained on, probably from Wikipedia. And you're, you're just not giving it. So here's an example of, of this. Uh, the sulfuric acid reacts with, with, with all of this. Um, what are those two missing chemicals? So we're saying sulfuric acid and, and we're telling something about it. It would know this already from its foundation model. And it tells you uh, the sodium sulfate and uh, hydrochloric acid. A few shot prompt pattern. This is where you give it a few examples, maybe just, just one. So you give it some examples of positive and negative tweets, and then you, uh, you expect it to, to know if it's positive or negative from its own knowledge that it has from the foundation model, just like you did in the zero shot. Um, but here you are giving it some examples, and that should help it to clarify and tell you what type of uh, input you had. And then I give you some code here where you can basically it, it just experiment with it, uh, kind of like the playground in the OpenAI site that we looked at earlier. But this, you can actually put it in, and you can observe its results. Thank you for watching the video. This was the Please subscribe to the channel and you'll get um, all the latest that I do on artificial intelligence and the rest of this course as I add the individual videos that make it up.